can, you know. So we will continue reading chapter 12, verse uh, 26, I believe, 27. Verse 28, okay? We continue at verse 28. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. Yeah, Khan, as I said, okay, because this topic is all about, uh, you know, not only about the war in Ukraine, but of course, you know, it is actually the case that uh, people who are considered uh, Christians, okay, being slaughtered over there in uh, Ukraine, okay? And we're not the ones to laugh or to judge and whatsoever, because uh, first off, we know this people don't, we don't, uh, we, we don't uh, know these people who are uh, uh, judged right there, but the scripture, as I told, as I, as I already uh, showed you, okay, the scripture says uh, there's nobody dying without a reason, basically, okay, so whatever they did, it, it was leading to was leading to their death okay it is how it is but um, you know the war in Ukraine shows us that Yahweh really gives another doubt for the seedens okay as uh, second Esbos I believe shows us okay the heathens are unto spittle okay and their abundance is like unto a drop that falleth from a vessel Okay, so it he cares as much as you know. Basically, he he um, for the, the heathens are basically like onto spittle. Okay, and spittle, if you don't know, is even less than or it is more than nothing. But if you if you go into the word spittle. It basically means like he has a sort of um, basically is a, if a hidden uh, dies, okay, they are really uh, oh let me say it like that. If you spit on the ground. How much do you care about that spittle that you spit on the ground? On the ground, can really you don't care at all, right? So that's the reason why, of course, uh, we have 144k, which are the 144,000 Hebrew Israelites, the hopeful elect, okay? And this is, uh, as I said, okay, this is really not a big number. So guess what? Most of these people in Ukraine are no Israelites. Most of these people in, is, uh, in uh, Ukraine aren't Israelites. let's continue so you have like the book of Revelation says out of every nation out of every tongue and appearing basically uh, you have 
people from that same nation being uh, of the chosen ones, okay? These are these people with palms in their hands, if, uh, in their hands, if you don't know. Because their time is anyway soon. Okay, the seasons think they have a long time and things like that, but their time is soon over, right? You can see it clearly, okay, because Esau is going down. Verse 29, and seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind, you see. So if war comes to uh, Germany, Timon for example, or to America, which definitely will happen, okay, be ye not of doubtful mind like the heathens are, okay, we not heathens, okay. We have to think uh, first of all different about these things, okay, of course they have to happen and you can be all over the place in war, you know, you can be in the most escalating situ situations of the whole country. You can be right in there, in the middle, even, okay? But that is just how you Howard chose it and how it was um, given to you to make the best out of it, to the spirit and power. Salakia, Salakia. I have to fix the camera real quick. Yahweh wanted it to be that way, to show something to you, okay, because you are hopefully lacked. And they are basically, uh, you know, uh, wild people. Okay, like you see me standing here, okay. If the Israelites would not would not be like they are, okay, with all these inventions and stuff, okay, they would still live like uh, like like uh, in these caves and things like that, okay. You see. Verse. Uh, Dirty, you see, for all these things do the nations of the world seek after. You know, that's why I, even when I um, was basically, even when I was basically a lot of times in this camp session, um, kind of like um, talking without looking in the scripture di directly, okay, basically. Uh, putting up the scriptures out of the mind a little bit also but on topic you know I was not off topic you see and that's why I think that this is a very uh, specific camp video because um, the point of the lesson is so important the point of the lesson is so important okay and the point of the lesson is that these uh, heathen nations, okay, <laughs> okay, the clowns that they are, okay, um, if you, for example, if you have a city with uh, 100 of these heathens, you better believe the city is going down quick. 
Okay, you better believe that this city uh, destroys itself. Okay, not even a hundred years, and this city, and this city, and this city will be basically done away with. Okay, because they have, they have no, uh, uh, what is it? They have no idea to live. Uh, God-fearing life, basically, okay, a life which uh, brings benefit, benefit uh, to them. A life which, which gives them life back, okay, if you put life in something, it gives you life back, for example, if you put life in the scriptures if you put life in prayer okay Yahweh okay all praises to him gives you something back for it okay and your father know that you have need of these things okay so basically these heathens will be all about when feminists, you know, oh, what shall I eat and what shall I drink? But do you know it better, okay, that of course you need to drink and to eat, to... to basically survive, okay? So... That shows you that um, these people live in their pleasures actually they have nothing to think about they ha uh, they don't have anything else than pleasure in their life which is not which is not so uh, what is it you know we will have kind of like pleasure also in the kingdom okay here not so much but more in the kingdom and it is not a bad thing but a bad thing is it when uh, these heathens okay forget who they are because they uh, you know they benefiting out of the um, judgment that Jehovah brought on us his own children but how much more will we benefit when Yahweh brings judgment on them, okay? And the scripture tells you, okay, that uh, that it will be a hard time for these unbelievers, okay? When Yahweh is raising up his people again. Verse 32, fear not little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give arms, provide yourself bags, which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupted. Verse 34, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. Okay, because this is a short time what we have, okay? This uh, nightmare will be soon over. And the nightmare will switch over to these heathens, which means, okay, uh, slavery, okay? Of course, you know, you have Israelites having friends of the prophets and things like that. Okay, they will get a good house in the kingdom, for example. You know, you have you have a good helper of a prophet or so of an elect, okay? The elect, even when he knows this is a heathen, okay, 
he will make your um, circumstances better, okay? Of course, there comes slavery back and... You know, Yahweh's vengeance is uh, Yahweh's vengeance, okay? And there are things that we can change, okay? For example, even if a heathen... If, even if a heathen would be in the intention to help a Israelite that was basically judged by Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai because of not keeping the commandments, okay, which Yahweh brought uh, then slavery onto us. For example, of course he can help you, but really the judgment comes from above, okay, and there are things that we can change. Okay, but friends of the prophets, for example, will get better uh, options in the kingdom in slavery than those who are not and things like that. Okay, and there will be uh, levels and instances, okay, of different, uh, different judgment. Verse 34. Okay, for example, we can't, we can't uh, change that ICBM nuclear, ICBM nuclear missiles will be shot at America and everybody who is in that missile fire will be dead. Okay, we can change the fact that this will be a very hurtful and painful death, okay, and you know, Many children are also in that fire and things like that, okay? The scripture tells you, okay? Of course, there is something, uh, you know, Yahweh says basically not that he uh, really thinks that his judgment is in vain or something, but he says like all the virgins that die in that day and things like that and all the, uh, you know, the, the young women, as I said, It's basically a, basically, you know, a thing which is not beautiful so much, okay? Because these are potential women for the uh, real Hebrew is or for uh, you know real Hebrew Israelites to uh, what is it to bring for children, okay? These are potential women, that, but they will die in the fire, okay? But this is how what it takes for the kingdom to come, okay? All this destruction through this last war, which is the Third World War. And it already began, not just here with this Ukraine-Russia thing, but also before. But now with that Ukraine-Russia thing, you really see, okay, that even these uh, people of high rank and things like that, okay, they don't care, okay, about deaths that happen and things like that. And Yahweh made it that way. Okay, and I even believe that Putin is not is not, uh, of course, you know, a man is going south of the Lord. Okay, so these people like Putin, for example, they don't even they don't even want to do things like they do it themselves. Yahweh, is it that does these things? But they think they think they do these things themselves. You see. Verse 20. Uh, 36. And ye yourself, okay, uh, St. Luke 12, 36. And ye yourselves, like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh a rocket, they may open unto him immediately. Maybe you know, you know the um, the saying of of the ten virgins, for example. That when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Okay, for example, doing camp, standing here, okay, in the middle of the sun or of, of the, in the, in the highways and byways. 
okay, doing these lessons, being uh, in a, I don't know, being bishop in marriage, being a bishop in marriage, watching over the church, which is the, basically the saints, which is the, which is the, um, basically the hopeful elect today on the internet and in their uh, places where they been, have been scattered. Okay, coming together, which is the general church, if you will, today, you know. For example, Paul, Paul, Paul wrote letters to the, to the church in, in Greek, to the church in uh, here, you know, in uh, wrote letters to the to the church to the Galatians okay or to the to these different places man okay where these different churches were at right you know just lo look at um, look at how much uh, Paul traveled okay just like a pilgrim okay Well, I say unto you that he gird, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. And you don't know what blessed really means, okay? Because here in this world you can see a little bit of oh how how you know how grass looks, for example, how how you, human beings look and things like that, okay, how animals look. But really, they, even, even the animals don't behave like they naturally would behave, you see? Because all this flesh eating really comes not from the land. You think in Eden, animals was uh, basically hunting each other for, for eating each other, no. Okay, Every, everything lived in peace, so Eden will come back again. But this time, you will have creatures called heathens. And these creatures will be under us righteously, okay, and uh, uh, will learn our law, okay. You will have concubines, women from, from, uh, from them. Because the Israelite woman, the Israelite woman will be, of course, your main, uh, your Israelite woman. I don't say that you have one Israelite woman; you have more, of course. But uh, will be your main woman, okay? Okay, and then you have uh, concubines, basically, okay. I don't know exactly, you know, because I also had this one dream where I have one, where I had one Israelite woman and five concubines, okay. Uh, if you know something about it, you can write it in the comment board. But I believe you can have many Israelite women, but uh, also many Israelite women, but also man, many con concubines. Okay, so you have many concubines in the kingdom and also many uh, Israelite women, okay. But your main woman will always be over, uh, your, your Israelite woman will be always over a concubine woman. Let me say it like that, okay? You know? Because there's also a scripture that says, you know, you can't... You can't trust in dreams uh, too much, okay? And also, I don't know if the elders and apostles talked about that, but I believe they said you can have many Israelite women like the porters uh, said it, I believe also, um, and many concubine women, okay? Can't, can't, because, you know, it would be like you are a slave in the kingdom, you know, you just have one woman, you know, no, that's, that's because we will have many Israelite women, and just like it is right now, you know, it's better to procreate that means if one hopeful elect has, let, let me say, for example, 
This is not like 365 days uh, and stuff in the kingdom, okay? This is different or everything, okay? We will have no Gregorian or Edomite calendar in the kingdom like it, like it is right now, okay? Um, but you have, for example, you will have many children in the kingdom and how is this possible? You can't create all these children with just concubines, okay? That makes no sense. You want to have, of course, your children is also, uh, your child is also an Israelite if you do it with a concubine and she brings forth a child. That's not what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, that really doesn't matter. What, uh, what matters is you uh, want to create Well, let me say it like that. You have all these Israelite beautiful women in the kingdom because you have to think about it. The so-called Negro, Latino and Indian women will be back in their beauty in the kingdom. Okay. Uh, but you don't have enough men uh, elect to... Uh, to basically make them pregnant. That's not... That's not uh, that's not a good thing, right? So a good thing would be if you have one Israelite man with many Israelite women with many concubines, which means hidden women, creating even more children than it is possible uh, with just one woman. Okay. Verse thirty-nine. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief, the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broke, uh, broken too. Okay, for example, you have these people falling out of the truth and things like that. Let's say everybody would know that tomorrow Yahweh Shai comes back. You would see all these Israelites that fall, was falling out of the truth, going out of the truth, uh, back in these camps today, man. You see? <laughs> you see? And that's the hypocrisy. That's the hypocrisy, you see. Because they don't want to wait. Okay, and that's, that's the hypocrisy. Verse 40. He did therefore what he also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour, at an hour when ye think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward? Steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give him uh, to give them their portion of meat in due season, lest is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he had. But, and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord, delay it his coming, and shall begin to beat the manservants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in, the, in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and who will, and will cut him in asunder, uh, in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. You see, just like I said, right? For you people that went out of the truth, okay? He will come exactly then when you uh, would at least ex uh, would you uh, where you wouldn't expect it, okay? And how is that possible? Come for Yahweh Bar Shem is everything possible. So just imagine you have 10 uh, fallouts, okay? 10 Israelite fallouts. Everybody has his own uh, life and uh, history or biography, biography, you would say. But all these people have a special life, special lifetime or a special phase in their life where they think, oh, my life is as good as it never was. But right then, for all these 10 people, it will be the worst moment, okay? In a different time, but for, 
for everybody of these 10 people it's, it's basically the same time okay because the hour um, is in none of these times basically okay he has his own time you see like you can re read in I believe Psalms and in uh, second Peter I believe I don't know okay Psalms I'm sure about Psalms but the, the, the other one it says even two times a thousand years like onto a day on this earth okay so as I said there is no time for him in like we know it for example uh, one day went okay for example when Yahawashai was on earth it was one day for him until now but for us it was 2000 years okay that shows you how uh, how cave monkey these people really are okay because they believe it uh, whether when it's shown to them to a movie on Netflix okay like this guy like he looked at he, what I'm doing here you know maybe it's that garment what I wear but he should rather look at himself you know what what he is what he is doing here okay where does he where does he drive here now okay I bet he is he's uh, just a cave people Esau okay doing based basically a, in a, a vain life okay a vain life not even in hundred years which we will have everlasting life and being or basically staying in our prime you forever okay which means we will never grow grow old okay Okay, we will have the, the law in our hearts and things like that. So, of course, we will be kind of like, uh, we will be, uh, what is it, wise in our hearts, you know, and we will not be like, like somebody is today with 20 years, you know. Of course, can be, you know, kind of like, but, you know, we know what, what it is to be serious. Of course we will make jokes and have fun in the kingdom okay what but we know to the spirit when, when something is serious okay because as the scripture says he lays the, the law in our hearts and things like that so we know when something is serious and if not and when not okay just like you know if you like a woman or not from her appearance you know it right away okay you just look at her and you see if, if she's if she's your taste or not okay that's the same thing we will see just right away what's uh, what's lawful and what's not lawful okay in the kingdom because we will have the law in our hearts Verse 32. I know verse Salachia. Um, let's read verse 39 again. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and And not have suffered his house to be broken, broken too. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all? Okay, it might be the case that you, okay, it is said, oh, you, for example, I don't know if you have a camp in Texas, but.
let's let's imagine you are somewhere in uh, America or in Germany even. Let's say you are there somewhere and all of a sudden there are, uh, you know, uh, people want to kill you by law, okay? They want to say, oh, this, uh, and they know you are Hebrew Israelite in that time, better believe me, they know it already, but let's say, oh, this guy will be killed on this and this day, like, like they have it in Texas, uh, even to that day, you know? You making, you stress yourself, oh, tomorrow I'm dead, tomorrow I'm dead, this, things like that. Okay, I will be with Yahweh Shai when I'm dead tomorrow, okay, and things like that. But you wouldn't expect that Yahweh Shai comes back today. You stressing yourself over tomorrow because of you being dead tomorrow. But you receive spiritual powers today. You care so much about tomorrow. But Yahushai, but Yahushai comes back today. You see? You see? That's, that's really the thing. You don't know what happens. We will read it again. Verse 40. Be you therefore ready also. For the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. You see, then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all? Verse 42. And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Lest is that, lest is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he had. But and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming and shall begin to beat the manservants and maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in the day or in a day when he looketh not for him and at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in, uh, in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. That's really not what you want to have, okay? Because uh, a portion can be cool, but a portion can also be the thing what you weighed at your whole drop of a life here, okay? Which the hopeful elect have, for example, endured or have still, still enduring here is basically this drop of a life uh, and you working all your life for that day to get the reward. Okay, there are many uh, videos from the Brotherhood. Okay, don't think that we do this without a reward and things like that. Uh, and then all of a sudden you will get a portion with the unbelievers. Okay, you sacrifice basically yourself, but you will get a portion in the end of uh, the unbelievers. And that's not what you want. Okay, you want to be that believer in the end that receives a crown. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prep, uh, prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. Okay, so people that know the truth but went out of it, people that uh, should know the truth and saw wonders and things like that, you know, they know about spiritual things that these are true or Satanists even, you know, if Satan is true, how can Yahweh then be not true? But anyway, um, verse 48, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes, you see, shall be beaten with few stripes. Okay, there are people that need to see before they believe. There are people that 
that are not um, like uh, like one like they are elect hopefully elect that don't have to see to believe and they are hopefully elect that need to see to believe okay it's different it depends okay but that's why it says a few stripes because he doesn't know really better okay just imagine you, you live out there uh, in Peru or something uh, in the in the in the bushes you know you know I just say it li like it is you know without wanting to uh, you know um, acoustically hur hurting someone or something you know of course not but you know where where is the Bible there okay they maybe don't have a Bible there, but they have traditions and they are Israelites. And maybe there it depends more how you treat your father and your mother and how you behave. Okay? Then knowing all this le uh, the last letter of the last letter in the Bible. Okay? You don't know. You don't know why these people are there in the first place okay why they were born there okay you don't know nothing at all okay we don't know nothing at all we prophesy in part we know in part and that's how we know and how Yahweh gives us wisdom knowledge and understanding but the real knowing what is to be known as a God being on this earth will be in the kingdom when Yahweh brings back our real body also, okay? We're not in our real body yet, okay? We're in, a, in this chains of darkness. Look that up, okay? Chains of darkness, King James Version. And look what's coming out, okay? That's us, man. The fallen angels are us, the Israelites, being in that flesh here, okay? You see, if I have a needle... a needle and put it here on my hand I'm hurt right now okay I have an open flesh here and I have to basically take care of that okay but in the new body to come okay just like I saw that one video with when Obito okay from Naruto um, showed I believe um, who is it? Kakashi? No, not Kakashi. Uh, Nagato, Pain, Khan, Kain, uh, Pain. Okay, when Obito showed Pain his power, or not Pain. When Obito showed um, Nagato his power, okay, before he was Pain, I believe. I don't know uh, exactly what. Anyway, when he showed him his power, he just was standing before him and he just walked to him and walked through him, okay? Just like Yahawashai when he, when he was raised up again, okay? After he was crucified, he showed uh, some people even his wounds on the hands, okay? But he went to the wall, I believe, okay? He even was flying to the wall, okay? And I believe somebody was telling, I believe Maria, Maria of that, okay? The mother of Jesus, uh, of Yahweh Shai. And she wasn't believing, okay? I, I believe it's Khan. It's, it went like that way, okay? So correct me if I'm wrong. Until she saw it herself. Until she saw it herself, right? Okay, so Nagato also wasn't believing what he saw, okay? Obito walking to him, but he, he didn't stop. He just walked right through him, okay? That shows 
that showed uh, Nagato what power he had. Okay, that's also how you know how you uh, how you can understand how arrogant we will be uh, against these heathens in the kingdom. Okay, because everything what you do and say here comes back to you in a form of a Hebrew Israelite in righteous righteous slavery. You see. So let's continue. To whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask. Will ask the more. You see, because as I said, this this little child over there in Peru, how much is given unto that little child? They don't even have a Bible. Maybe. I don't so. I don't say it is that way, but in some cases it might be that way. And how much is required of that child? even when it is like in, in, in its 20s, 20 years old, things like that. How much? Not so much as it goes for you, having all this internet and things like that, okay? The possibility to look up all these things, okay? Maybe you live in America, you saw even UAPs and UFOs, okay? You trusting more in a in a movie called uh, I don't know. There are much movies with alien invasions, okay? But just imagine, just think about one movie where it shows that Esau and the Edomites and the heathens can destroy this alien invasion. Compared to the Bible, but you believe rather in a movie. That is not even real than in the Bible. Of course you will be heavily charged for that. What you think? Of course this is oh, this is a case of many stripes. You think that's a few stripes? No. Okay. You rather believe in a museum that shows you plastic bones of a Neanderthal than in real science, which of course covers the scriptures, and uh, the scriptures covers the science because it's uh, it shows you right there that you know uh, you know I don't know dinosaurs lived of course you know and things like that. But it says nothing about Neanderthals. It says nothing uh, uh, about Neanderthals. It, it talks about Adam and Eve. And how are they Neanderthals? Okay. Just show me that you can hang on a tree like a monkey and then I will believe you. Your feet are not even like those of monkeys, okay? You can't hang. You can't hang on a tree. You can't hang. Uh, you can't hang on a tree like a monkey. You monkey. You can't do that with your feet like a monkey. You monkey. Verse 49, I am come to send fire on earth, you see, beautiful, and what will I if it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? 
Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you, nay, but where the division? Okay. For from, from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. Okay, here in Switzerland, for example, this family from uh, KLA.TV, they invited even to their show the uh, president of um, Iran, which is Persia, in 2009. Okay, because they are Christians and they have, I believe, nine children in their family. And he studied, I believe, theology. I don't say that this family is in the truth, but... You know, they also use the name Jesus and things like that, you know, which is a mess. Okay, you know, you will be judged by that, but... Um, you know... We got a camp in... Uh, uh, what is it? Um, in the Philippines, okay, and they use the the white name, okay, and it all starts with the white name, okay. But a people in Switzerland can't have the white can't have the white name, okay. That's confusion. So basically, you have three children being raised up as Christians, things like that, fleeing from their own parents. That is just an example, okay? You have all the other children basically being good Christians, if you will, in what they perceive as a Christian, okay? Going to church and things like that. But you have three being unbelievers right now, okay? Or two or so, fleeing from their own family. Okay, that's just an example. Because as I said, especially if you live in Switzerland, You have the possibilities to, you know, show up these things about the truth and things like that. Okay, of course, it's a generation thing also, but how is it that these people don't have the right name or even the, ch the children of, of this Christian, uh, the, the chief of, of, of this Kla TV and, you know, uh, what is his name? Ivo Sasek, okay? Why is it that their children don't know the truth, okay? Maybe because it's an Edomite family, you see? Because we really believe that if you are an Israelite in the truth, you will have the names. First off, you have to be an Israelite, and then you have to be in the truth. Because two gods of Israel will be cut off also, okay? There's a, there's a rank, there's a status, and there's a birth to everyone. If you are born as a worm, if you are born as an as a fox, you are a fox, that's just what it is. Okay? So first you have to be an Israelite and then you have to be in the truth to uh, survive this, these last days, man. The way Yahweh wants it for, for some people, for... Um, for the ones who basically don't those who don't fall for the system because all the other ones will fall for the system in however way it will look and the first test was already okay with the uh, with the um, with the uh, juice Okay, with the deep pop shots. That was already a test by by Yahawa to show uh, to look. Okay, uh, yeah, can for Yahawa, but also these elites too. To see who is who is uh, for for this uh, for the help of the snake. 
And do not. You see, and do not. And how am I strengthened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you, nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father. The mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. The mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, when ye see a cloud rise out of the west straight, uh, straight away, ye say, there cometh a shower, and so it is. Okay, which means rain. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it come to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it? that ye do not discern the t this time. Okay, how is it that the people can live here, especially also in Germany? Oh, this war with Russia and Ukraine is not the beginning of World War III. That's just a war, you know, how, you know, of 2022 and everything will be normal again. And coronavirus uh, was just coronavirus, a uh, real medical problem. Okay, in, in what cave? In what cave do you live? Yeah, and why even of yourselves judge ye you not what is right? Verse 27. Because you might say, oh, I know that this is the last world war, and I know that soon it will be over and the Israelites are in power but I still do wickedness because it's still a small time that I can use to do so but here it goes into verse tw uh, 57 you see and 75 uh, 57 yeah and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right you see because the wicked know that he had but a short time, the elites, okay, they don't, but they know also that they are heathens, okay? And as a heathen, you can do good things. Doesn't mean that you will be an Israelite all of a sudden, okay? You transform into an Israelite, but you will be a friend of the prophets, a helper of the prophets. Instead of living a vain life, which is not even a time, if you if you want to say it like that, okay? How much does does a, a human being live today? A hundred years, maybe a little bit more or less, which is nothing. When thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate, as thou art in the way, give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him lest he held thee to the judge, and the judge delivered thee unto the officer, and deliver thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence till thou hast paid the very last night. Khan, okay. You thinking, oh, this is anyway soon over, so I don't have to do this work, so... Uh, you know, really, so don't, not so much because, so, you know, I can even, I can even, you know, for example, um, uh, what is it? Yeah, I can. Do as much wickedness, okay, that I have problems with the police and then I go into prison and then I have a half year there and then it's already over and, you know, and it doesn't matter because it's anyway soon over, you know. No. Okay. Or you say like... You say like just because you read... Uh, 
great men are not always righteous and things like that. Now you can be wicked and you know, you will be saved out of prison. Okay, you will be, you will be the, the great man that is not always righteous, you know? No, okay? You have to do, you have to do this work until the end. However, it may appear onto you and, you know, you don't do your own things, you know. It's always Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai working through you, bringing forth food, okay. So you don't know what Yahweh has prepared for you, okay. You can't go into prison right now, okay. Not willingly. Of course it can be that you will land in prison actually, you know. Uh, scripture tells you, okay, um, you know, endure, uh, you will have, uh, what is it, tribulation 10 days and things like that. that. That talks most likely about a prison, okay? Not everybody will land in prison, but some may even be killed in prison. But with that, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And we see us in the next lesson. In the next camp, in the next video. Shalom. Shalom also to the beautiful sisters and brothers. Okay, we have so le so few sisters that I, um, you know, want to say a special thanks for watching these lessons and a special and a special, um, you know, keep keep it, keep doing so. Okay, you are especially also you women because you are few. We'll give you high rewards, man. A good man of the Lord, okay? A good salvation, a good... Whatever!